Frank is a graphic design company um, and we, we do graphic design across a range of different media. Uh, we do graphic design for print, for brand identity work. We also do design for interactive design for the web and online and so forth. And we also work in motion graphics, which is mainly for broadcast. And those disciplines always cross over. There's always blurring of those boundaries. We're moving. We've got a new studio. Um, we've been, as I say, here for three years. It's a bit small. Everyone's on top of each other. To be honest, this place was a, a starting point. This was a, a good city centre location and it was big enough for us when there was just three or four of us but now that there's really seven of us and hopefully over the next six months as many as nine of us we need more space and we need a location that's more suited to the work we do. The actual studio space itself has been designed to fit our needs. Um, it looks great, it's um, going to feel a lot more polished and professional and hopefully get across the fact that we can do more than just some music graphics and flyers for, for, for gigs. Hopefully appeal more to the clients that, that, that really have a bit more to spend and bigger ideas and bigger projects and more, more interesting projects really. Frank is basically Damien Cranny's idea. He's the founder of the company. Um, he's my co-director. We decided to start Frank because, well, I suppose both Damien and myself were a bit tired of, of, of working for other people and doing what we were told. Um, and partly because it felt like the time was right. The D wanted to come back from Dublin and I thought there was an opening in Belfast. I thought there was somebody, there was, something we could do that other people weren't doing. What really makes Frank different, I think, is our approach, first of all, which is a mixture of really good strategy and thinking and, and drilling down into what our client, whoever that happens to be, needs um, and making a really good, writing a really good design brief, I suppose, ourselves on top of whatever the client's given us and then having the skills to apply that to whatever media they need, need it applied to really well. A couple of weeks ago there we picked up a couple of national design awards. Um, this was the first time we've really entered anything and that was a real boost as well, that was really validating and it probably shouldn't be. It probably, it's just a complete ego trip, but it meant quite a lot to us, and yeah, I think we've had a really good run over the past couple of months. It feels great to be in here, and great to be hiring good people and seeing them do great things that, that, that perhaps you wouldn't have done yourself and they wouldn't have done themselves. What we'd really like our, our employees to have is real enthusiasm and passion for design and for visual culture. I don't think people should be jack of all trades, but I think you need to be flexible. For the majority of people, and particularly for the majority of students, you need to be able to, to, to work across a range of different platforms. This feels like somewhere that we could be a bit inspired by and we could really do great things from. It's Frank a bit more grown up. It's Frank without the ghetto barbecues. <laughs> ghetto barbecues are great, but you've got to grow up and now is the right time. And it was good fun and Frank was right and the way we were was right for the start. But now we're getting a bit more serious and this is the reflection of that.